Another thing you'll want to have is a nice rag to kind of wash this because I mean, if you feel yours right now, it probably has a lot of dirt on it and debris. So you're just gonna wanna, and mine aren't too dirty, so I'm just gonna use the uh, slightly soapy water that I made. And you also get yourself some good lighting. And then uh, last but not least, a car that's a little bit soft on the edges. So yeah, just kind of have your tools out there and you know where they all are. So you don't have to go looking. So anyways, uh, first you want to start by spraying it and there's no need to worry. Also, the guy in the video said that uh, even if you're like sticking and repositioning it over and over again, that should be, you know, kind of all right. But yeah. You can spray on the back of this as well, if you'd like. Let's not spray that with the electronics. All right, and then you can also keep respraying just to re-lubricate it and everything. So. See, like right now, I'm gonna have to re-lubricate or respray it. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, my camera died, so I'm kind of just switching to the iPhone here. So yeah, it's on there perfectly. I, well, I would say. All right, so kind of done. Just have to do the side. As for the bubbles, this is my first time. So if you do tint, you kind of cringe. You know, just chill out, all right? I'm a beginner. So for the air bubbles, you want to poke the tiniest hole you can possible. Like just not even slash, like just kind of like poke. I have quite a lot, so. I'm gonna try to just do the uh, like the very noticeable ones. Yeah. Yeah, I can actually see some of the water coming out. So I think that's where I messed up is I kind of didn't squeegee all the water out. So once you've kind of did that, you could. Yeah. Not too bad for my first time. I'll show you guys the, the difference. Oh, my knees, ah, ah. So this is how it looks. From afar, you'll be like, damn, oh shit. Oh my God, I'm sorry. From distance, you'd be like, oh damn, that dude got OEM headlights. No, not OEM, but aftermarket headlights. And then this side is kind of OEM. So it's, it's kind of semi-permanent. Thing and I could change it anytime I want to. I think it. what I want to do with the back is kind of keep it just black and orange. So trying to get rid of some of the chromey look. So not bad, not bad. All right, we're gonna try to run it back. And this time my camera won't die. So it's pretty clean. Make sure I have everything I need. Here we go. I'm gonna move it down a bit. I think I got the perfect fitting. Now this time we're gonna make sure all the water is out so we don't get any of those bubbles. Those were even air bubbles, they were water bubbles, so. I'll probably have to redo that sometime, but it's only like 30 bucks plus shipping or around like $37 plus shipping. I think I'll hear about like three, four days. And if you do tenting and you have some 101, you know, tips and tricks, please let us know in the comments because I am just free balling it. And do take your time with this. 
Because it got to the point on the other one, I was just like, forget it. You know what I mean? I just gunned it. But let me take my time with this side. Make sure I get every little imperfection, every drop of water. You know, I might be scratching it a bit with this car, so make sure yours is really soft and it can get the job done at the same time. And if the edges are kind of crinkly, you can kind of fix that with the hair, hair blower, hair dryer. Just make sure it's not too crazy or else you're gonna get one of those strong lines. Not gonna lie, this one's looking better already than the other one. gonna wipe try to wipe upwards if you go left and right it's gonna make one of those strong lines just found out just now try to kind of go up and not too too crazy and this little big bubble over here is gonna be the real problem not really sure how to get rid of it I'm gonna try to go to the corner trying to But yeah, the best thing is to really just take your time. And I think you can get it really, really nice. See all these bubbles up here? You could easily fix those with the blow dryer. Kind of want to be careful how quick. I mean, it's my first time doing this, so I don't, I didn't realize how quick blow drying actually makes it really like get tight. Oh, my legs. So I really messed up on that corner. Like I said, I'm not really sure how to end off a tent on a really, on a curve where it kind of starts to get really different. But I'm gonna try to see how I can get this bubble to go down without creating another one of those creases. I don't know if you just blow dry it to it. You know what I'm saying? Gets to that point or what? Yeah, so that's kind of the finished product. On some aspects where the other one is kind of perfect, this one isn't. Like this area I really messed up on. So I'm going to order it again just to, you know, redo it and keep redoing it so I get it perfect. But it doesn't look too bad from afar. And most of the, you know, car meets are at night. So unless you're really being a, a douchebag and just surveying my stuff. But this one, yeah, this one comes out quite a little bit good, but I keep messing up on this corner up here. So I'm gonna do some research on really how to, how to really tint like corners and stuff and get rid of those uh, creases and bubbles. But, and then this one I had to kind of poke a bit to get rid of those water bubbles. But if I were to add the two, it'd come down to the most minimal amount, but this part I did nice. So I'll go look over the video and see how I did that part. And not this, this is bad, but not bad for my first try ever tinting ever. So I guess now, oh, that's everything guys. Let me turn it on so you guys can see. I'm not sure if those would be brake lights or, or what pretty sure they plan on doing the same thing i guess order yours uh, let me how, know how it goes let me know if the video helped yeah that's it not bad not bad not bad at all all right guys see you in the next video